Why, hello. I see you've come back for more torture. Get out of my house. And we're here to do another movie. This time we're getting some religion on. We are. Gotta love me that old time religion. We don't have a box for this one, so in its yes, stead... Yes, we do. The box is right there. Stop telling me we don't have the box for things. The box is right there. This is... It says it. It's the S's Perkle Trilogy. And what is this first movie we will be? Uh, this first movie uh, we're going to go talk about, but I can give you the title now. It's If Footmen Tire You, What Will Horses Do? Mm. That was a mouthful. It is a mouthful. You know what else is a mouthful? That's tiring just hearing it. Like three of these. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Just three? She's digging it. <laughs> well, here. Go now. <laughs> and she refuses to work with me ever again. I'm going to talk about the movies now. Neighbors, I do believe it's time to praise. Get down on your knees. Dig deep into your pockets until it hurts. And get ready for this edition of Trapped in the Counter. Yeah. Praise Joe Pesci. Good morning. Or afternoon, evening. I don't know when we're filming anymore. Time is a nebulous concept. But we've got a treat for you. What could might actually be the first double feature we've done, as these films are not very long. Uh, they are two films out of a trilogy. Allow me very quickly here. As I have notes prepared for this. Uh, three films done by uh, writer and director Rob, uh, Rob Ormond. Alongside a Reverend Estes Perkle. And I promise I have not made that name up. The films we have on tap for today are the first two out of the trilogy. We'll hopefully find the third film soon so we can wrap it up in a nice little package for you. Uh, the first film we have is If Footmen Tire You, What Will Horses Do? More on that title here in a moment. And following up after that is its sequel, The Burning Hell. And whenever we can find it, The Believer's Heaven. One more time. They're all three going to be here eventually. Oh, we're going to set that right there. And we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about this. So, Rob Ormond, that's a name you might, you might recognize, you might not. Uh, he was a, he was a rather well-known exploitation director back in the 60s and 70s, who at some point in his life became a born-again Christian. Now, you might be wondering, well, what's an exploitation director do once he's become born again? Create religious scare films, that's what, with the help of a reverend with a funny name. Now, and with an odd choice of titles. Which brings us back, of course, to If Footmen Tire You, What Will Horses Do? Shortened sometimes to If Footmen Tire You, or simply as I've written down, Footmen, because fuck writing all that down. Um, the title is shortened. That whole title is shortened from a from a verse in the Bible, Jeremiah 12, verse 5, which states, bow your heads in prayer, if you have run with footmen and they have tired you out, then how can you compete with horses? If you fall down in a land of peace, then how will you do in the thicket of the Jordan? Now, from what I can tell, having been raised Catholic, which is a whole other can of worms to do, is this seems to be preaching spiritual vigilance. Then to not let your faith waver as you won't be able to keep up with the footmen as they run through Jordan's Thicket. I don't know what they're doing in Jordan's Thicket, but that seems like it would be between them and Jordan. Now, when I say scare film, this was written, this film was written 
the near the 60s and 70s when people were still pretty afraid of communism. And what is mentioned here that Mr. Perkle tries to pass off as fact, as you will as you will hear him say in in this film, that he is absolutely convinced that this could happen within the next five years if people continue to turn away from God, is that communists will show up on horses, not a lot of communists, and they will take over a small American town, and that will be enough to bring America to its knees, and then they'll start killing Christians and just leaving them in the streets, and then you you have a chance to become atheist, and you'll call everybody comrade, and then guys with terrible mustaches will show up and try to fuck your wife. Just all around, not a great time. Possibly a good time if you're friends with Ron Jeremy. Um, and it's a lot of, hey, here's some kids dead in the street. Follow Jesus. With that said, let's go back to the couch and watch what could have been. My thank you, good sir. I'm sure that God will love you for describing this movie. I, I hope so. Do these people still know who we are? Uh, we need to introduce ourselves. We do. Let's so, go. we will start with introductions over here. Reverend Hill. Reverend Hill. Totally not on the top of an FBI watch list. You might, you, you're definitely one of those new Baptist ones, because I know they, they let the women folk do the thing now. Do the, do the hand wavy thing? Yeah. <laughs> with, with grunt noises? <laughs> Who are you? Reverend Booty Clap. Reverend Booty Clap. I heard it's quite loud, especially with the pants you wear. No, I don't make Double my booty clap. They make their booty clap. When I preach. I am Reverend Eaty Much. And I'm Pepperoni Dog Fart. Giggity. <laughs> and now we will be, I guess getting into this movie. We're probably not going to mention a whole lot about facts in this movie since we couldn't find much on it. So, well, I mean, like, they, they got the whole thing over there in the corner. Yeah, well, we'll see what we can do. That corner's starting to smell like sadness and feet. <laughs> Turn the movie on. Oh, yes. Hey, Estes. Dark Souls drink! Ah, uh, Estes Perkle. You guys thought I was making that shit up. What's the guy's name? Money? What's the, the guy at the bottom? Yeah, the Orlando or or organization? <laughs> trying to figure that shit out. Let's visit them in Nashville, Tennessee. That's a close trip. Cecil Scaife. This is the commissar. Wes Saunders, the comrade team. Where, wait, where's Falco? We need yeah. to let the commissar know. Oh, it's okay. they let a Mexican on board. La Quinta. La Quinta Scaife. That's great. Cool. <laughs> great At least purple. they were multicultural back then. That's progressive. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, like they've got they've got the Nazi communists right there, and a host of others too numerous to mention. He likes to say that. In all Physical of education, Moffat down at the bottom. Tim or Mon or not? Oh. Like how they put misses in parentheses, like they were going She through. wanted to know. She wanted everyone to know she was married. Don Crosswhite. <sighs> so he's a uh, half black, half. Black. <coughs> I guess. Oh wow! The Baptist community has a choral group. Oh, yeah. Have you been to the Coral Reef yet? Adapted for the screen and directed by Ron Ormond. Mm -hmm. I've called him Rob in the intro. I don't really care. <laughs> From the book by Estes W. Perkle. <laughs> the W stands for Wigglestaff. That's the voice of Estes Perkle. And they're about ready to ride straight off a cliff. The end. Credits roll. <laughs> Go to church. I like those Japanese armbands those guys are wearing. Uh, 
So, I don't know how well it's going to pick up on the audio, because we do have this kind of blow. But, essentially, I believe that's I believe that's the voice of Ron Ormond asking Perkle questions that Perkle wrote that Perkle would have the answer to. Ah, there he is! Oh, dear God. That's Mr. S's Perkle. What do you think about the future? Let's go TP his house. Uh, he's been dead for a while. Let's go TP his grave. <laughs> Let's go TP his wife's house. Uh, I think she's been dead for a while. Let's go TP his son's house. Who is good on the line until we find someone that's alive? Your father knew what he did! Uh, this is your feeling. I'm afraid you're in. Well, okay, we're gonna cut that out. No, nothing bad happened. Uh, no, don't cut it. Leave it. <laughs> Everybody had a good time. That's probably the best part of this movie. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I don't know about you, but I do remember that one week where a handful of communists took over America. Man, like, still Yeah, I, I was yeah. about to say. No, just like, found all these people taking a nap and dump ketchup on them. All I'm saying is, thank God the Wolverine don't know. <laughs> Okay. You okay, Red Dawn reference? Oh, yeah. Okay. That he wasn't there earlier. That's because he was a Bushman. And he's taken back his slave. Oh, no. no, he tagged him. <laughs> yeah, he's it. He's it now. That's, That's a very like, oh, one-sided version of tag. You're, you're on foot, we're on horse. Well, yeah, because if footmen tire you, what will horses do? Uh, oh god, they're KKK. ghosts! Oh. oh. They're ghosts now. Why are they Arab, like Arabic or whatever? Uh, because he's trying to make an allegory of like uh, spiritual warriors or something. I, I don't know. I, I, I gotta be real honest. I, I am not on like half the amount of pot these guys these were on when they wrote this. Got paid. <laughs> you think they got paid for this? They would have to. Who That's would, cute. Why would these horsemen be forcing people to walk? Here? There is a concentration camp at the end of this road. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> I mean, look at them. They're all just kind of. It's a com she's not wearing a bra. It's a communist <laughs> takeover. A good Christian Middle America town in Montana. If you're if you're gonna sit there, and my tell question me, is, how the fuck did they get past the Canadian border? <laughs> That's the largest unregulated border that we have. <laughs> so, so, yes. How the fuck do they cross it? We've got they, to build a wall. They cross where it's unregulated. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we should build a wall. Keep the snow Mexicans out. <laughs> the Snexicans. <laughs> Snexicans. That sounded like Sexicans, and I didn't mean it to. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a fucking... Uh, a subgenre on porn or something. This guy is trying to well, no, no, well, no, no. Well, see, it's not what you think. It's, it's sexy too. Like. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to place it. It's just not going to do it. He's not going to do it. He looks like Ross Bright. <laughs> Back in the 80s. Can I finish, boy? Can I finish? I got big ass ears. I got huge <laughs> ass ears. If this was like a true, I should be president. You would have read about it in the history books at some point in school. <laughs> well, no, because we won, so we would have left it out. Yeah. yeah. After a week. Yeah, only the victors write history. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poignant. Also true. Yeah. Can you imagine the losers wrote history? The more you we know. won. Be like. So why wasn't it in the history like, book? Uh, in the year 550, some gay lords and togas took us over, and that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a hot dog cart just exploded, but not like fatally. Just the ketchup went nuts. Yeah. Well, th this is what happens when you're a. Uh, when what the fuck? I told you there was a concentration camp at the end of that. Yeah, show. and I told I told you that you weren't wrong. <laughs> now we got Hyde hanging out with Donna again before he raped people. <laughs> Hyde rapes people. <laughs> it's not like Natalie Portman. People, <laughs> she, she does. Just Anakin. Poor guy. Didn't I get yelled at for saying that? Because mostly, why the hell did you say it? She's trying to straighten herself up because she just got done getting fucked in the back of that car. She's so improper. Well, considering that guy said I'm a lover, not a Christian, which means that he's probably Mormon. 
I mean, in Missouri, you can legally shoot Mormons if you don't agree with them. Not really. I can dig it. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you're fucking with me. But. I don't need any val validation on that. I'm like, okay. They also they also sell this cool stuff called Doctor Dazzle. <laughs> Is that, that like, is, the shit. is that like totally sweet Alabama liquid snake? <laughs> it's something. <laughs> oh, he's talking about Kill all the infidels. Oh God. Okay. Now, Jesus so, said zoom in. Look at that fierce look. That so, woman should have won an Oscar. I'm going to go ahead and just like ask this as a general question. Does he or does he not look like a blown up people? He, he's trying his hardest to be George W. Like someone captured E.L. Fudge himself and put him in front of a rebigulator ray, or whatever you might call it, and they just like made him huge and told him to go talk about Jesus. <laughs> you don't, you don't do cookies no more. You do Jesus. She, she might be the smartest person in this church. She might be. I don't know. She just remembered like a sweet King Crimson riff. <laughs> That. I know that look. She's playing 21st century schizoid men in her head. <laughs> she's, she's about to discover Blight Dolly <coughs> through a time rift. <laughs> What's it like to be in your head? I don't know. I'm just a vessel. Don't go there. <laughs> there are angry water watermelons attacking through chaos through some... God, no, I don't know. There's just shit happening in my head constantly. <laughs> yeah, you keep shining, you magnificent what the fuck. <laughs> if I shine too bright, I'll set the world on fire. <laughs> you, bold of you to assume it's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm not saying it would be. God, his teeth are... I didn't want, I didn't want to say anything. But he's like a reverse vampire. Because he doesn't have the fangs. I'm, it's like I'm his gonna, teeth have thrown up the Wu-Tang symbol. I'm going to go out on a limb and say if you stare close enough at him, you can see the reptoids in his mind uh, telling him to say this. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I mean, you know what they say, Wu-Tang clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> There's a reptoid underneath the leaf. <laughs> Destroy the tree, destroy the tree. Nature's a devil, nature's a devil. <laughs> How did you know their third grade curriculum? God put it here for us so we can despoil. Oh my god. Well, you were right does, that, does that kid have a Skrillex haircut? Which, which kid? The one by the teacher. It looks like half her head is shaved. Uh... No. Oh, God. There, no, it's okay. That's Carmen Teacher. <laughs> no, that, no, that's his credit. This is... Yeah, his credit is Carmen Teacher. God, who the hell does he look like? He looks fucking blue. Somebody that's late for the Pride Parade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that's one of the guys from Arcade Fire. <laughs> I wonder if he made it to the Black Parade. <laughs> Different band. I know... <laughs> but still. Point still stands. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Slightly different kind of music. Slightly. Are you aware of what your child is seeing on Saturday morning cartoons? You say cartoons? What could be wrong with that? They're all anally. Yeah, look at look at it. That guy was like, yeah, cartoons were cool. He still remembers Bugs Bunny nips the nips. That was a real thing, people. Look it up. Fucking trick Elmer Fudd. Or when Daffy, not Daffy Duck, when Donald Duck woke up. It was like super in the Hitler. <laughs> wow, that kid's kind of fucked. Um, we shot him full of a new drug that makes him feel Jesus more. What's with his nose? It's called looks perfeffel. Like, looks like somebody's like doing this with his nose. It's because they are. <laughs> now, I will say this. If you could find the Believer's Heaven, that would be great because it has some of the most unfortunate individuals singing. Really? I want to sit there. Like, like, I could, I could find the truth. Like, let's a build a time it, machine like and convince him the well, Holy like if, if you managed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can be a holy roller in the game. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? We, we need to go back in time, find this dumbass, and sit him down to a game of D&D. 
<laughs> we can introduce him to my cleric. <laughs> You'd call us all devils. <laughs> Probably. How about I create a character ne next to him? That guy. Is, oh man, we missed it. You just missed it. There's a, they showed a guy. I'm pretty sure his mom still cut his hair. <laughs> Put the bow over my head. <laughs> oh, oh, there's one. There's one. Look at him. This chick is having all sorts of fantasies over here. I mean, well, no, I think she's that, reminiscing about all the godless times I'm she had. I'm just going to say, though, that is a lot more fun than cult meetings on Sunday mornings. Wasn't that the Man, teacher? Man, it looked like the she fan? was sinning hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. No, I don't think so. We'll see if it shows him again, because it looked like the same. I don't know. That guy's last name was Cheech, so I, I mean. Cheech? <laughs> or something like that. People kissing on the first date. What shame. You know what this reminds Color me of? Colored people vote. <laughs> Women dancing. It's happening, people. I'm just going to say this flat out. You know what this reminds me of? What's up? We're like how long into this movie? Uh, Probably like ten minutes. Okay, this reminds me of the Solarmanite speech. <laughs> Solarmanite speech. <laughs> from Plan 9 from Outer Space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solarmanite. <laughs> The power to explode the sunlight itself. <laughs> Can you accept that this world might have people that aren't straight and white? Are you ready to deal with that? <laughs> dude, dude, even better idea. Let's go find Alex Jones. Are you ready to we'll take build a, a look time at the machine. in my brain? We'll build a time machine and let Alex Jones and this guy share a dinner conversation. The frogs are guard! <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I gotta tell you, I agree with it. Frogs are gay. I watched two of them hump on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> I like how your voice for Perkless is the Ross Perot voice. Yeah. <laughs> They're essentially the same people. <laughs> Good God, those cankles. Go back to the weird communists. So if a bone of cankles, you don't know where the calf ends and the ankle begins. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a fat girl sweat contest in here. First one to have a bead of sweat, reach your ass crack wheels. <laughs> I like that we can talk about more enjoyable things while we sit through this. What are some of your guys' favorite films? Solar tonight. One of them, Sanity, or Mommy Dearest. Dude, we need to re watch the remake of Plan 9. Uh, I've seen it around. We can totally do it. That's what we need to do. I mean, just to see how they handled the Solar Manite speech. <laughs> ah! Oh, dear God. It's a power lich. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Underreach. <laughs> no news at 10. <laughs> Dude looks like a very depressed uncle that someone just found to put in a suit. Yeah. <laughs> this is the check for three dollars that the director gave me to do this. I like the map of nowhere Here. behind him. <laughs> Here for no news, the kobolds keep trying to take our gold. <laughs> the good king Snizzy would both won't do anything about it. <laughs> so I say, if you see a kobold, gas that son of a whore. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom, I'm here on scene where the Cobalts keep coming in. They have a new concentration camp again. <laughs> again. Not more ketchup, Jesus. Them damn commies. Man, I not even in our country, but the Russians back then. No, they were in their country for a they're week, and the Wolverine like showed up and made it better. Yeah, they're making it look like these communists had just ketchup automatic rifles. <laughs> well, yeah, I need they, one. Yeah, right? you know, they, they couldn't afford the bullets because the iron production was down. Yeah. Alright, we're going to let this ketchup dry in this bowl for three weeks. And like Jim they, here with the chisel is going to make bullet tips out of it. I mean, like... They, I mean, I'd be okay with dying like that. <laughs> I mean, they, they tried to make their own like version of YMCA with the USSR. <laughs> I actually found the first verse is a young man, steel production is down. I say, young man, you must sleep on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's fun to live in the USSR. And be Russian, and you love turnips. Comment below. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you asshole, you took my line! <laughs> so is this the reverse KKK? If you uh, spit rhymes so focused they break concentration camps, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> 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 if you enjoy the scene of families getting ripped from their homes. Man, they didn't try very hard to keep those kids. They must hate them. <laughs> yeah, much. Oh, please, it's don't take 50s. little Timmy. They can I'm make sorry, ten more. <laughs> <laughs> don't take little Timmy. Don't take little shit face. All right, he's gone. We can find him party. I wonder what Alex Jones has to say about this. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> well, I mean, Ford's on American now. They were driving one. <laughs> Oh, I guess they're just like taking everybody? No, take them to be ass raped. <laughs> over and over again. She was laughing. What the yeah, fuck it looks like she this was guy. laughing. He looked too happy to do that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's like they're trying to demonize it. Oh, you're fine. Oh, she's getting off. Uh, she's got Mountain Dew. Oh, my God. What the fuck was up with this one eye? Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, they're trying to make him look evil. Evil? Yes. Evil? <laughs> Ebola? Yes. Ebola, la, la, la. Diarrhea, cha cha cha. Hey, it's Burt Reynolds. <laughs> I believe you mean Turd Ferguson. <laughs> I didn't know Burt Reynolds was in this. Turd Ferguson. <laughs> oh, there's that kid from Orange County when he was little. There's that one there. Oh my god. <laughs> She looks like that kid was thrown down the steps a few times. Oh, wait, no, maybe that's supposed to be Comrade Teacher. I have no fucking clue. Come, come now, don't be bashful. We know that your parents have taught you about Jesus. Come on, raise your hands. Now we cut them off. Bam! 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 That's better. Bam! How many of you now still believe that Jesus answers prayer? My mama told me that Jesus makes the Mountain Dew. Well, now to be, well, now to be fair. How many of you would like candy after I dig into your religious beliefs? I just hear one from the back. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't be praying for a communist revolution. <laughs> that would throw through a fucking loop. Yeah. Do you, do you like, punish the kid for believing in God, or do you praise him for there praying? There needs to be one Ralph Wiggum in that whole group. Yeah, it's that's that kid. him. Yeah, <laughs> it's him. he's the one that's <laughs> swallowing like cap gun bullets and stuff. <laughs> 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 Every time I do it, it hurts. <laughs> We're Super Nintendo Chalmers. <laughs> seen the picture of that Super Nintendo with Chalmers face on it that someone made so you can have a Super Nintendo Chalmers? <laughs> oh, Ralph Wiggins is a role model. <laughs> was that Che Guevara? <laughs> I believe that was Drist. <laughs> oh, it couldn't have been. He was, <laughs> he was too light-skinned. <laughs> and he wasn't fucking things up with swords. <laughs> Maybe it was the precursor. Hot dogs for everybody. No, those are nuts. Are those? He said it was candy, but that. You were right. Who wants candy after like, digging your religious beliefs? Yeah. Have you fucking That's seen this told you. That looks like no. Jenga blocks, though. It didn't look like real candy. Jenga blocks are candy, and then oh, 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 there's the slave camp. Yeah. I told you. No, no, you didn't say nothing about slave camps. She's a concentration camp. Yeah, it, like, what yeah. happened to concentration camps? Slavery? <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't growing nothing. <laughs> they were growing something. <laughs> yeah, ash piles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I already knew I was going to hell. <laughs> if you're blind and somehow watching this, hey, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going there too. <laughs> <laughs> if 
if you would like us to make a Braille web page for you to actually read, like, comment, subscribe. Surprise. Did you say a Brillo pad page? The Brillo, Braille. Braille pad. Oh. Like Buy these Brillo, Brillo pads. pads at 99 cents a piece. We'll just mail them to people. <laughs> Pay a big did, you see, did you see that guy's eyes moving frame by frame? <laughs> I did. I, I see this, like, weird thing happening in the woods. Where do they find seats out there? <laughs> Okay. That is a really fucked up close up. <laughs> that is just a outside Baptist meeting. They don't have a tent, so nobody's pissing on themselves. <laughs> Apparently, that will happen when uh, they are slain in the spirit, as I believe that it's called. When they're like running around, jumping, making the noises. Hey, it's the honky tonk. Sometimes they'll just pee on themselves. That was the honky tonk, man. The more you know. Ball. I, I care more about Big Boss, man. Where's he? Uh, he's too busy getting hung up. Uh, Are we sure this right? isn't like made yesterday and like if they made it look like this? <laughs> I mean... Well, it was uploaded yesterday. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, God. I mean, Trump hasn't shown up in the middle of it screaming, "It could happen here!" <laughs> Very hard with fucky toss. Huge people, huge. Look at my huge hands. Who, who's I mean, gonna make a cameo? I, I'm gonna now? say, you know, from my perspective, and people get pissed off if they want. I'm not really like Christian, so this doesn't seem that bad to me. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they only come for you if you're Christian. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not worried. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, it, okay. Yeah. This yeah, is like not? this is like that Danger Children I play movie where they just like kill a bunch of kids at the end for like no fucking reason. Yeah. What the? F are you serious? What the f I don't he think, should be dead. I don't see how that knife is Why did he through his ear. You, there's Gomer Pyle. It was a, a, not, like he just had like a like a stick. Yeah, there's Gomer like, Pyle. That should have killed him immediately. It's like the director was like, "Well, what happens when you get a stick rammed in your ear? Well, you puke excessively." Well, yeah, that's. Mm. They're just gonna fuck her. That that's Mr. Exploitation <laughs> director Rob Mormont for you. And we're back. She's digging it way too hard. That small she's, child. She's hoping it. It's like, yeah. Like, Kill mommy, daddy. <laughs> Pray my stick in there, yeah. This is, this is another reason I don't like churches. They, they just invoke fear to make you believe it. Well, that's always some of them. Yeah. I will like, say There that. are some cool ones out there. Yeah, I've, I've, but I've been to a couple where they're like, hey, look. churches, yeah. Like, 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 this could happen. It'll scare the hell out stray. of me. <laughs> But God is a God of love. And then there's this guy. There's Burt Reynolds again. This is one of the reasons <laughs> that the revolution failed. They're just getting drunk and like trying to trying to plow fours. I I just It's like if Lady Gaga had plastic hair and lift back then. I just I still it's hard for me to believe that this happened. <laughs> So this I've is a doc read about it or seen yeah. It. yeah, this is a documentary. So is Highlander. Exactly. Hi yeah, Highlander was a documentary. Bert, yeah. why are you in your commie outfit again? <laughs> it's fire Reynolds. And it's funny! I gotta do the Smokey and the Bandit 3. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, he kinda does, because it's everybody's property. <laughs> if if I had to explain communism with frogs, it would be hippity hoppity, you own no property. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pow! Yeah, that's how that conversation bent. <laughs> you're gonna get bent over the table, and you're gonna feel something just bite your lip and pretend you're at the circus. <laughs> <laughs> she should be honored to get plowed by Burt Reynolds. Right? <laughs> Especially drunk Burt Reynolds. <laughs> I got bought by drunk Burt Reynolds. <laughs> now come on, I'm gonna do something to you you're not gonna remember until you're 50. Just like mm -hmm. Anakin should feel honored that he <laughs> Natalie Portman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not gonna censor him? <laughs> totally gonna censor him. <laughs> <laughs> you said as many times as when I mentioned that Natalie Portman the child actor, <laughs> right hand Skywalker behind the scenes on the set of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Don't, don't, don't censor that one. Just, they just, need the context. Yeah, just, just leave that <laughs> <in> there. <laughs>
Here comes drunk Burt Reynolds again. You have a penis, right? Look at that chest hair. It's like Austin Powers all over again. I only like penises. Why do they keep... Like, okay, I, that's you so fucking jarring. How eh? <laughs> <laughs> dare you? Do you know somebody like made novelizations of the Austin Powers movies? Yes. <laughs> they read like fucking train wrecks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. You can't hide your nipples under buttons, man. They say, and I quote, either Christianity will win or we will win. We cannot exist together. So, kill all the non-believers. I don't think anybody said that. This is like know. turning into a jihad film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wait till you see the second film. You want to talk about a jihad film. I'm just going to walk away from it. Kill the Kardashians. <laughs> kill the Kardashians. Kill the... Don't kill them specifically, just kill their show, please. Kill John Lennon. <laughs> kill John... Oh, he's already dead. Oh, okay. Wacky beetle. <laughs> Those Koreans would never kill us. If you're in Korea right now, somehow watching this, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> and you'll never kill us. <laughs> okay, there's Jesus. That's not Jesus. No, no, that's the modern Jesus, because he's supposed to come back. Uh, they found Jesus him and killed him. Jesus is the same? As Muhammad. I mean... <laughs> someone, put, someone move the dead child out of the way so I can read the rest of this passage. Uh, and... Armpit? And uh, de dead kid. <laughs> More dead kid. So Jesus... He twitched. Yeah, so, that kid twitched. So <laughs> Jesus is the dead kid, same dead kid and dead kid. Yeah. Okay. I guess, it may, I guess that makes sense. That's my favorite song. <laughs> well, this guy, he looks happy as hell to be in church. I I think my favorite Bible verse is uh, John 14, 10. Uh, get fitties, pet kitties, suck titties. I, I might have paraphrased. Good job, Burt Reynolds, you quoted American. It's, it, it's mainly because it rhymes. But I also want to pet kitties. Who and do the other two things at some point. Who is Andre the Giant? That's my answer to that question. <laughs> Show him what he's won. <laughs> Calm down, Walter Matthau. We'll do what you want. Just put the potato salad away. <laughs> This guy looks like he came fresh off a boat somewhere. Oh, snitches get stitches. And wind up in ditches. Well, see, I can listen to rock music without you people. If I sail you down the river, I'm free. Free! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll listen to gospel music for a week. <laughs> she's trying too hard to be hot. Even though she's supposed to be in a pressure situation. I bet your bush goes up to the belly button. Probably. Now let me review the facts. You say that you are not a Christian. Your mother says that she is. Take my gun. Shoot her. Okay. <laughs> All right. We had, to, we had to take the gun away. You kept asking for more ammo. <laughs> Some people would pay a top dollar for that kind of breakthrough. <laughs> he taught us this new thing called gangster grip. It is 100% a kick shot. He kept saying 187 with my dick in your mouth, fool. <laughs> then he started screaming, fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Then he said several things that we cannot say here in our good communist society. Is that Dean Winchester? Yes. <laughs> Dean Winchester time travel. Good for him. Naturally. He's not hanging. He's clearly on the floor. <laughs> Look at all that back sweat. Oh, uh, they just poured a, a house plant. <laughs> No, their, their home team won uh, the Super Bowl, so they got Gatorade. Uh, 
The godliness still enjoy Gatorade. You know why? Because it's a non-denominational beverage. And the electrolytes. Yes, yeah. oh my god, the electrolytes. Oh my god, they're force-feeding him flour. They murder that shit with electrolytes. He could use some Gatorade. He could. <laughs> See, if he wouldn't panic and breathe through his nose, he would be fine. All you gotta do is roll your tongue back, lock your throat off, and, you're, yeah, and you're fine. <laughs> and just what kind say, of got pussy? Yeah. <laughs> Blow it back in his face when he looks close to see if you're still breathing. Just <laughs> And then piss yourself, just for good measure. Make sure it's a strong Make yourself enough as undesirable as possible. To break the fiber of your pants to spray him. <laughs> Okay, so he's just having fun. Yeah. That's just a fun swing talk. <laughs> he's just hanging out like an avocado. <laughs> I mean, some of them deserve it, man. Like they, this, this movie would have be you right worked in the food industry? <laughs> I told you to keep those temps at 180, Larry. And those kids had some extreme... Games back then. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. This is just a drunk afternoon. You've never Kentucky. seen a fat communist. Fuck off. <laughs> That's all this is. One drunk uncle's like, "Hey, I'll watch this." <laughs> <laughs> we got a new game to play tonight, boys. Come <laughs> on, get drunk. Y'all see if you keep the Oh shit! Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Yes, man. Right. What wait since you did not crash? That's not long enough, dude. Did not crash. Boy, you wild. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we're, we're about to make Adam choke on a string. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, son. I worry about you and your welfare. You know that check you get once a month? Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Her eyes go, whoa. <laughs> like, you look over there, and they're actually out of the sockets. <laughs> and it's like the, She's like, good friend Roger Rabbit, when he sees Jessica Rabbit, his eyes get real big. 
It looks like that. For some reason, she's masturbating with the corner of the Bible. It's like, yes. <laughs> she's getting really aggressive with it, too. Like that she's would herself make a sense given who like, wrote and directed this film. <laughs> And you'll also find a you'll also find a passage in which Lot's daughters got him drunk and fucked him, but we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> which, you know, if you ever really want to fuck with people, ask what the Bible says about incest, and if it says that it condemns it, point him out to that uh to that passage, <laughs> because that's like the one time it's mentioned, uh -huh. and the Bible seemed pretty okay with it. <laughs> So, you know, fucking extrapolate off that. So, uh, many of you watching this with daddy issues, if you want to bang your dad, it's, the Bible says it's cool. Like, comment, subscribe. It's like, use protection. Follow us on Instagram. Tell us about your experiment with your dad. Do, do, do we, we even have an Instagram? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think we do. I will. One of us might read it. <laughs> She, she, she said she would. <laughs> you want to you want to read about the weird shit people do with their dads? Oh, I want that fucking okay. suit. Look at that. <laughs> Candy cane lane. <laughs> oh dear God, that mouth. But if you lick it, it tastes like beef jerky. I think I saw him in the Langoliers having a who has a bigger mouth contest with Baldi. That is a classic <laughs> hot dog eating mouth. <laughs> I bet you he could suck a dick like a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He probably did for cocaine. <laughs> Wait, this is this is not the 80s. <laughs> Look at my fucked upper row. Look at my nose. It looks like I got three nostrils. <laughs> I'm Ross Perot. Dude, I'm I, I swear you can see the reptoid in him. Is it a reptoid or is it the smiz mods that live in his brain? <laughs> it's, it's the reptoids. Okay. <clears throat> Oh shit, sure. yeah, I do see it. <laughs> it darts from side to side and it goes, tee hee. Yeah. <laughs> I will bed down with prostitutes, but you don't follow it. I do, motherfucker. Good God, this chick is like dropping all sorts of shrooms. I feel an itching on my crotch. I think that's... That's me being punished for being a whore. <laughs> no, that's just the like. It's just the weird fuzzball guy. caught in your pube. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can go without treating syphilis if you want to look like a weird fuck zombie. I'll just uh, I've had some scares where it turned out I had a really weird fuzzball in my pube. It was a really big itch. <laughs> Oh god, I gotta get tested. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much is how it worked out. Really? Oh, I thought it was over a casket. I Damn thought she was getting ready to take her shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> the way she was gripping it. If you, oh my God. I don't. If that, you follow Satan, your mama will take her shirt off. Uh, if that's what's happening, turn it off. Turn it off. Now your mama's got her boobs out. So what everybody in town? Faces are red, wishing we were dead. Baby standing all around. <laughs> oh, shit. I told you guys I have a southern accent. I just hide it well. That's true, Larry. Listen here, boy. Don't tell me what to do because I ain't not never got a will, okay? Whatever <laughs> <laughs> you got to beat your kids, get a sack of tangelos. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you, Marie's looking good for a cousin. I'm just saying this. If you were ever down south and someone says, bless your heart, that's their nice way of saying retard. <laughs> <laughs> they always yeah. say that yeah. to me. People do. And, well, no, sometimes they'll just call heart. you retard. <laughs> Depending on how far south you are. If you're real far south, they will say, bless your heart. <laughs> at which point, I just kind of look at and fart real loud. And go, thank you! <laughs> So if, if I ever hear that, I will like literally crank the disability meter up to 10,000 and just start throwing shit. <laughs> so 
So give it all to me. Yeah. <laughs> Neighbors. Nobody no, I, loves you like, like we love you. <laughs> but, uh, it's funny, like, and like, no part in any of these films do I think he ever asks for money. I think he's like, he just wanted people deep into to come that pocket and smoke till it hurts. <laughs> Give well, he waits till the camera's off, and then he's like, "All right, all you motherfuckers, you're holding out." Now I want everybody to come up here and put a dollar in the box, <laughs> so that we can build a better church for God. Do 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 do. No no no. no. Oh, he's doing prices right there. <laughs> <laughs> and now your host, Drew Carey. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Chevy! In an alternate universe, now your host for <laughs> Price is Right, Bill Cosby! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we screw up, we screw up real bad. <laughs> fuck, go back. Where's the fuck, go back button? Keep wondering why half the people on the show fall asleep when we through. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Cosby Oprah's show. <laughs> Everybody look under the seat. <laughs> You've got yourself a pudding. <laughs> and you get a roofie. And you get a roofie. Ten Everybody minutes. gets a roofie. I'm, I'm, I'm. Ten minutes into the show, everybody's just... <laughs> including the camera guy. Okay, This so is so starting to look a lot like Jonestown. No, this is really looking like Red Dawn. Fun fact about Jonestown... He wanted to be money efficient with Kool Aid, so he got Drink Aid. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and if nobody would drink it, he's had people like either shoot them or reject them. Yeah. So, uh, everyone gives Kool Aid the bad rap, but. It was, it was Drink Aid. It was Drink Aid. So, next time you're at Aldi or somewhere that sells Drink Aid, just flip it off. <laughs> now, here's what I want to know. And I feel like anybody watching this might have been able to, like, ask this question. Why do they not have tanks? Yeah. Well, my even better question is still, if this massacre, like, really happened, you would think we would read about it in fucking <coughs> history books. Well, yeah, but you have to remember that nobody wanted to admit that communism won for, like, a week. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Clearly if you're going to teach history, teach fucking history so it don't happen again. Yes, but, <laughs> but we, we won this week-long uprising so we can, like, expunge it from the records. No, 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 it happened. It's it's like going... Nothing happened since that fight yeah. week. Everyone was on vacation. Yeah, exactly. No. Some just didn't come back. <clears throat> Seriously, like, you just can't admit shit. <laughs> Like a lot of people romanticize cowboys, then, but also bash the gays, but cowboys, <laughs> cowboys were gay. <laughs> most cowboys <laughs> fucked other cowboys because there were no females around. And then yep. they would eat pudding. <clears throat> exactly. They would eat pudding and then explore their sexuality. There's always one guy that was in the group that went, Dah! <laughs> We're always going to come back to Cosby. <laughs> Oh shit, they found this playboy. Oh. Oh. Uh, now I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good thing to do. Give him a turnip. Oh. Boy, that kid has got so much grease in his hair. Yeah, Look I was about that. to say that. What the fuck? Is his hair did, plastic? Did somebody just dip his head in lacquer? Well... <laughs> Not to be that guy, but that is just paper mache that they put on a kid dying of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, there. Uh, now we don't have to worry about his hair. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's totally metal. How does he know what was in her head? Because he was talking about it. He saw everything. He well, okay, so uh, yeah. yeah, what happened there? Like he was talking about it. She, she envisioned it. She screamed no. <laughs> is he? Is he fucking Spock? Did he mind melt? What? <laughs> plot hole. Plot hole. Uh, judge. There. Is... <laughs> Listen. There. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can't see it, but he's... But, uh, director guys tried to tune in Tokyo. <laughs> but, uh... Listen, man. There is no mind meld. There is only purple. There, there is nothing like that. No. He was doing this at a funeral? Who the fuck... What kind of eulogy was this? No, 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 no. What the no, no. fuck? No, this is, no that's, that, that's not actor lady. Beavis uh, had a better fucking That's eulogy. the actor lady. Relax. <laughs> That said, I wouldn't put it past Ormond to just, like, have an actual body. <laughs> Seriously. That said, do you guys remember that uh, wrestling arc where Triple H pretended to be Kane and tried to, like, like rape that... Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? You will never know the... Gag of him being, uh... Yeah, he's, he's in the cold ones. <laughs> Necrophilia. That was done... Next to an actual funeral service. Yeah, I know. <laughs> good old WWF and their good ideas. Christian life. I was about to ask, like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck's that happening? I've got to ask you. Seriously, though, Butthead gave Beavis some better eulogy. Later, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're here today to... Later, dude. <coughs> Worm food now. <laughs> Start scooping the dirt on. <laughs> we, we will, but this is not. Oh, okay. I was about to say this is not Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> that lives above your doorstep. Oh, snaps and snails. He eats little boys. <laughs> yeah, but he does. You fucking degenerate. <laughs> That's quite Bella a Lugosi was a fucking fruit loop. <laughs> oh my god, man. It's fun, what see? Hell? What the fuck? There was only Estes. The whole time oh it was just Estes. Just Estes. These people live in a mental hell of his making. <laughs> this was just, what the f <clears throat> fucking We're fuck? not done yet. Oh, strap in. Strap the fuck in. We're not done I yet, am, cowboy. I am strap not strapping on. Strapping in for nothing. Strap on that jammy pack. I don't buckle up when I drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not asking to buckle up. I'm asking you to strap in. <laughs> strap in, buckle up. Same difference. <laughs> it can't be. Not when there was only Estus. Yeah, like if I ever met Estus this guy. Estus Dominus. You're not gonna meet him. He's dead. I don't care. If he was walking down the road today, next to Gordon Ramsay, they'd both get sucker punched. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have against Ramsay? He's just mouthy. He's cool, but he's mouthy. Like, if he went off like that on me in the kitchen, I would go off back. Well, <laughs> you know why he does that, right? It's the bunny. Well, no. No, because, like, cause, like, when he does, like, his, like, kids' cooking shows, how, like, he's incredibly patient with them. Yeah. Because yeah. they're still learning. Yeah. He goes off on the people who, like, claim to know like, everything they need to know, and they're trying to pass off shit as, like, expert in their food. That's why he does it. So, if you watch his, like, uh, Kitchen Nightmares UK, like, he's, like, super level-headed. <laughs> like, like he'll, still, he'll still call people cut, but he's not going to scream it at him. I he's like, come like on, don't be a cut. Top ones. You little that, cut, oh, crying that like was a little ten-year-old. That was good. But you are ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, though, that he doesn't handle spice well. It is funny. But he still good. got through it. Yeah. Well, like, they're like, like, nobody in the fucking UK can eat the spice. After, uh, what was it, like, a full measuring cup of Pepto? Yeah. <laughs> he made it. <laughs> good job, Ramsey. Props. <laughs> uh, Shaq's gonna be on one tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. by, by the time this goes up, People have seen it already, but uh, Shaq's gonna be on Hot Ones, and that's like new for us. But that's a good show. So, you know, fuck I it. like that show on YouTube. This is kind of crazy. We're doing random shoutouts now. It went from concentration camp bashing to Cosby bashing. <coughs> shoutouts to other channels. I'd like to, think and they're probably not even gonna care. <laughs> I'd like to think at one point this woman feels the power of the Lord so so hard that she reaches up and bites Perkle's face off. I mean. <laughs> I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I, can, I can think of like one channel that would care and simply because I like talk to the guy on a semi regular basis and he actually responds. Uh -huh. So, uh. 
If you guys like listening to people talk, I know I'm going to butcher the name because it's... Hold on. This is the end. He's going to ask you to come. But right now, this very moment, wouldn't you like to receive Jesus as your own personal Savior? Why are you doing this? And now, the Cannibalistic Dust Mite Film Crew proudly presents our final thoughts. Brought to you by the Shellfish Amphitheater. This month's illustrious acts include The Old Pornographers, Expired Milk Lodge, Slumpknot, Huba Stank, Wink 178, Some 22 Plus 12, and the new up and coming alt rock group Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. And now, back to our program. Dark Souls beverage. <laughs> so, the only thing left we have right now Make is... Make sure to slurp Mr. Perkle before you're about to die. <laughs> All we got is final thoughts. And we will start over here. <laughs> we suck. Uh, I, I'm just gonna go to hell. So. One, one go to hell out of ten. What about you? Uh, um, if we're holding hands, we should probably switch seats. <laughs> One pillow smothering out of ten. A fine choice. I'm going to say... 13 urethral stabs with fingernails. What is it with you and the urethra? And you. I, we're going to talk about that later. Um, I'm going to give it a four and a half impromptu executions out of ten. Perfect. Well, that's about all we have time for with this one. We got another one to go through. So, so let's get ready to go for it would be well, better than that. the burning hell. Yeah, that's that's coming up next. So enjoy. Which bye is bye. Like right now. Bye. Kill me.